What's up guys? Today we're going to be fishing with the Game Changer Lures Trash Master Jig. Here it is right here. In South Georgia, the bass for the most part in most areas are pre-spawning right now. Um, some of the smaller bass are going on the bed. If you guys don't have fish brain in your tackle box, you should definitely download it. You can also see recent catches uh, from somewhere that you're going to fish. So let's say if I'm going to fish a lake around here, I'll get on fish brain and I'll look and see if anybody's recently uploaded any pictures of any fish. And if so, I'll look to see what they caught it with. But the link to download that is in the description below. Let's catch some fish. <laughs> First order of business, let's go ahead and put this half ounce jig on. I'm just going to tie a polymer on on here. Since the bass have been acting so finicky, I'm going to put on this black and blue big turd by Z-Man. I got this out of the mystery tackle box. Now, I've got two different mystery tackle boxes here. One has got all of my soft baits in it, and then I put all of my hard baits in the other. This is two different months. I just got them mixed up together. Also, the water is really stained because we've been getting a lot of rain. So something dark is going to stand out with the water being stained like that. When the water is really stained, I like to use something that's really dark or either something really light, like a chartreuse or a white. So we got the jig on here. We got the worm on here. So I got to put on my polarized sunglasses. Even though the sun's not out, these bass are going on a bed right now, and polarized glasses are really going to help me to spot those beds. So I'm going to be throwing this on my new PC Fun Phantom. This thing's got seven ball bearings in it, 701 gear ratio and it is seven foot six medium heavy action with a medium fast tip i've got 14 pound mono on here so if i hook a, a giant 12 pounder i should be good with this pond right here it's got a muddy bottom so when you pull that jig off the bottom not sure if you guys can see that or not but it pulls some mud up this half ounce jig digs into the bottom and it pulls some mud up so that's really good for getting the fish's attention right here is probably the deepest area of the pond so a lot of times the pre-spawners will hang out in the deep water getting ready to bed and then they'll go up into the shallows when they're getting ready to bed now i see some beds right here there's one bed there's one bed i don't know if they're bass beds or, or what they are but so since i haven't picked up anything yet with this little turd and it wants to be a turd not catch any fish we're going to try something else Let's see what else mystery tackle box has in here I think we're gonna go with the watermelon KVD. This jig has got a really pretty paint job on it. It's got some purple glitter. It looks really cool. Let's hope the bass think the same thing. So with these wide gap hooks like this, I like to bring the hook just out and stick it barely back in. Unless I'm fishing really thick cover. If I'm fishing really thick cover, I want that hook buried in there. All right, so we've switched it up. And we've got the crawl bait on there. You can see this has got a little bit bigger profile now. It'll get their attention a little bit better, cause more wake in the water. Uh, this will flutter a little bit. I just seen the bass swirl on that bed. Ooh, ooh. There he is right there, boys. So I'm gonna throw past him, cause I don't wanna spook him. And then I'm gonna drag the jig up to where he's at. And since he's swirling on that bed, I'm just gonna move it really slow. I've seen him swirl right there two or three times, so I know he's right there. A lot of times, if you got a fish on the bed and they won't bite, you can just let it put whatever you're fishing with on the bed and let it sit there. And a lot of times, the female bass will pick it up to move it. Yeah, I see her swirling right there. Ooh, ooh, she bit it, she bit it. Ooh. Oh! My line broke. Since my trash master jig got broke off, I just went to the mystery tackle box and got another crawl bait and just put on a Texas rig. So I, I hooked the bass once. He's got that jig in his mouth. She's on the bed right there. She was at least four or five pounds. Uh, she may not bite again, but I've caught bass on the bed that I've hooked two or three times. Um, the key to catching a bass on the bed after you hook it is just persistence and keep casting at it. You just gotta keep casting and keep casting. And a lot of times, eventually, you'll piss it off and he'll get that lure, whatever you're putting on the bed. Or he'll at least pick it up to move it off the bed. And we're gonna get some rain. All right, guys, so that bass has had a little bit of time to kind of cool off. I'm sure I spooked it because I put that jig in its mouth. So maybe, I'm sure it ran off the bed. Maybe it's come back now. But um, it would be really sweet if I could catch that bass 
and get my jig back that bass will not touch this just regular texas rig for whatever reason possibly because it already has a hook in it we got another jig in here in the mystery tackle box this is a 3 8 ounce finesse football jig we're gonna give it a shot so we're gonna tie on the old true black and blue come on old blue pull through if you want your bait to do a good job you gotta talk sweet to it all right black and blue you're a good boy now it's time to catch a big bass you go out there and you do what you're supposed to do. You wiggle that skirt and wiggle that tail and shake that thing. And you get that bite. You hear me? You gotta give it a kiss. All right. She's ready now. She's ready to catch that big fish. Boom, there we go. That's gonna pull her, boys. I just come by and seen the male on the bed. I didn't see the female up there. Pretty sure that was the female that bit it earlier based off the size of the, the wake it put off. Since they don't want to touch the crawl now, I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to dye the tip of this in chartreuse. Give it that little extra pump there. I haven't seen the female come back on the bed yet. I've seen the male over there, and i just seen something swirl again. I think it's the male still. So since that female ain't coming back up on the bed, we're going to go fish another area of the pond, give her time to cool off, and then we'll come back and hit it again. Now that bass has had time to cool off, we're gonna come back and hit this bed again. See if I can get her to bite one last time. Oh, she bit it. She bit it. <sighs> she didn't pick it up, she just moved it. All right, I just dropped it right on her bed. I'm gonna let it sit for a minute. And then I'm just Whenever I see her swirl up there, I'm just barely going to move it. So I keep seeing two fish swirling. I'll see one close to the bank and one a little bit further out from the bank. So I think the male is sitting on the bed guarding the bed and the female is out in front of it. Oh, she just swirled. Pick it up. So she's looking at it. I moved it and I seen the swirl. That means she was looking at it or she's on top of it. There she went again. Every time I move it, she swirls. So she's checking it out. Pick it up, girl. Ooh, she bit it. She bit it. She's on there. Oh, I got her. All right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, 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 man. Almost had her. She fell off the hook. I'm not sure if that was the male or the female. I know I didn't see the jig in his mouth. Try throwing something different real quick before we leave. This is a big old two tap rattle trap by Strike King. See if uh, I can pick up some of these bass that are staging off of it. The biggest bass I caught of my life was off the bed on a rattle trap. I know that sounds crazy. You normally don't hear people fishing for bass on a bed with a rattle trap, but. Oh, there he is, boys. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah, son. Oh, I got the female to bite with the rattle trap. What'd I just say? The biggest bass of my life come off the rattle trap with a bass on the bed. And there she is, boys. That's the female right there. That is the female. The hook got her good, too. Whew. She doesn't have my jig in, in her mouth, though. The male must have uh, have the jig, or either the female shook it. Look at that, boys. That is the female bass. Because I told you guys, I kept seeing a small swirl near the bank and a bigger swirl out in the, in the, in the open, in the deeper water. So she was hanging out there in the deep and she's probably feeding right now to get fat to go onto the bed. And that male is up there guarding the bed. And I threw that big old rattle trap out there and that looked like a meal for her in front of the bed and she took it. Let's go ahead and let her go. Right back over here near her bed where I got her from. Swim on off, Bassie. 
you want to see more big bass videos hit that like button please subscribe if you haven't done that yet so that way we can grow the channel faster and i can do this for a living and do this every day for you guys thanks for watching we'll see you again soon